Big week for us, uh, obviously with finals week and trying to manage that, which every college coach goes through this time of the year, how much to practice, uh, how much to let your guys study. Uh, we've only got three finals left um, tomorrow, so most of my guys are done. We'll practice today and work on getting better. Um, evaluating our team, we still need to improve our Defense, rebounding, and running. And uh, we're going to keep working on that, keep getting better at that. Obviously, I have to get my freshmen, uh, my two freshmen who play, used to garden and playing at this level. Very important. Um, and then improve as we go. Uh, I like my team. Um, I like what we've done. Uh, obviously, I'm disappointed that we didn't win in our last game. And uh, we're just going to keep working at it. I'll take any questions if you have. Real positive semester uh, in school. And, uh, you know, my guys have been very um, respectful and attentive to my uh, pressure I put on them in school, you know. Uh, my guys go to class, my guys study, obviously everybody needs a kick in the butt once in a while and I try to pick the right times to do that in school, but you know with five freshmen it's an adjustment academically when you come to college, it's an adjustment with the amount we work, practice, travel. Uh, the last three weeks of travel has made it difficult for us in school. But uh, I don't expect any academic casualties, and you know I expect a solid, solid semester. You know I, I'm really impressed with Weber on film. Um, they've improved, I think, in everything they do. Uh, they're better defensively. Uh, their their running game is very good. Maybe one of the better running teams we've seen. Um, Offensively, they're executing in the half court. They have a great blend of inside play with Panos, outside play with Hanson and McCoy. And, um, you know, I, I like their team. I mean, I, I, think, he's, I think Randy's got a nice, nice ball club. They've won three straight. So that'll be a big challenge. And then we know Utah State's playing well. And even if they're not playing well, they play well at home. So it uh, sets up well for us. It's, it's good. As you know, the NCAA added two games a couple years ago, and it's just hard to fit them in. I can't play a game legally during finals week, and other people have scheduling conflicts, and they have different finals weeks, and you just try to fit them in. And uh, I think when Stu and I talked, uh, you know, actually, you know, John Dykema does most of the correspondence for our schedule, but um, they did not want to play a game on the. 23rd, right, John? They wanted to have a chance for, but see, we play the 22nd and the 27th, so there's not a, lot, not a whole bunch of time for our guys to go home anyways. And, you know, when you have foreign guys and all that, four foreign guys and three local guys, and, you know, it's just not a whole bunch of time to go home anyways. So Weber's improved across the board. Panos is better, Davies is better, uh, or is it Davis, Davies? Um, um, McCoy is better. Hanson's come from junior college and shoots it. Uh, you know, I think I think they've done a nice job with their team and and uh, playing real good basketball. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. Yeah, a lot of guys, you know, in the profession tell me don't schedule that game, don't play up there. <laughs> so that's that's what I've heard the most about that. Um, don't don't ever play up there. But. Uh, you know, we'll play anybody anytime, anywhere. We're going to go up there. It's a rivalry game and make the most of it. I mean, it's, it is a great place to play. I haven't been there yet. It'll be a new experience for me, but, you know, New Mexico is hard to play at too. BYU is hard to play at too. Vegas is hard to play at too. Oklahoma is not an easy place to play. Missouri State's not an easy place to play. So, I, you know, I don't think it's, it's, uh, I mean, Mike, if I say it's really hard to play there, what does that tell my team? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to say that. Obviously, I respect what they've done up there, and they've got a great program, and 
Stu's doing a great job, but you know, our goal is to go up there and win. That's what we're going to do.